I didn't even see you guys there. I was so busy playing Animal Crossing New Horizons here. I, I, I don't even know what happened. I, I was just like, I was just trans. I was in, engrossed in this fucking game here. Uh, it's, it's just so... It's so, uh... Oh, hey, uh, sorry. It's, okay, it's playing Animal Crossing. Here, let's put that down. So, here today, we're here to talk about Animal Crossing New Horizons. What's up, guys? It's Jay-Z NES. We're back again, talking about some Animal Crossing. Uh, weird game to be talking about, right? You're like, Jay-Z, what the fuck? You can't beat Animal Crossing. And I say, nay, sir. I saw the credits. I beat the game. Uh, not really, but hey, it works. If anybody can deny that me putting enough time into this game to not have beat it. Hold on, I'll show you. I'll show you how much time I fucking put in this fucking game. And I didn't even expect this. I bought Animal Crossing kind of on a whim. I'm just like, all right, this could be pretty decent. But um, it ended up just kind of blowing me away, you know, in terms of it's just such a good game. Hold on a second. How do you look at Okay, yeah. Now, <laughs> I looked at this the other day. Actually, it's... Wow, it's 10 hours more than it was the other day. But, uh, I don't know if you guys can see there. Yeah, yeah, come on. Ugh, why is it so blurry? Well, anyway, that says 115 hours in Animal Crossing. I bought this game 21 days ago on the 3rd it arrived. I don't even know how much I played it on the 3rd because I was pretty sure that I worked that day or something, and then I came back, and it must have been late at night or something, so... I know I started out, like, for a bit. You have to do the tutorial and stuff, too. 115 goddamn hours into this game. It, just for reference, that's more time... I, I could show you on here, but it looks like it's going to be pretty blurry. Um, for, uh, That's more than Pokemon. Both Pokemon combined... Actually, not Pokemon. Sorry. Um, It's getting there, though. That's 150 hours plus 25 hours for Shield, so uh, that's 175. I'll be there in no time. Don't worry about it. Um, Ring Fit Adventure. I only put in 30 hours. Let's see. Link's Awakening, 20 hours. Uh, Dragon Quest 11, a game that I spent like a ton of hours on, 95 hours. Um, fucking Let's Go, I put in 50 hours. Let's see. Uh, Smash Ultimate is only 25. And Dark Souls, a game I spent forever on, only 85 hours. Uh, hold on here, we're doing very specific. Uh, songs here yep that is one of them all right so uh yeah so fuck i put in 115 hours in like 21 days you can do the math on that it's insane let me tell you but uh yeah like fuck this game is just like all consuming you know uh but we'll get back to the game here in a second the, that game like you know showing the game and whatnot but uh right now we're listening to a song that actually is why I even know about fucking Animal Crossing to begin with, is the songs for Smash Brothers Brawl. Now, I have the CD here. CD's nuts, but I have the CD here. Um, this isn't the... Oh. Oh yeah, no, no, we're good. This isn't the OG CD that I had, but the OG CD did not have the Animal Crossing tracks. This is one of them, the song that I just played, 2AM is one of them, and uh, KK Condor, which I actually have a story about in the new game, uh, is one of them as well. And this disc right here is the whole reason I know about Animal Crossing, because I just kind of, on a whim, I have the whole Smash Brothers soundtrack, I just kind of on a whim said, hey, you know, maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll throw those songs in there, because they're pretty good. Uh, little did I know that years later I would be playing the actual Animal Crossing and uh, at least one of those songs would make it in. I don't know if the other songs are in there. Um, I don't remember if the town theme is the same. I don't think it is. But anyway. So yeah, Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, a game I bought back when, like, just almost release day when it came out. Like, uh, not this version. I actually sold this in my Wii a long time ago. And I had to rebuy them. Actually, this one says Fighting Game of the Year on it. So I don't know if that's technically, like, another edition or whatever. But it's not even like the greatest hits one. I don't even if there was a greatest hits one. Maybe this is the greatest hits, technically, or whatever. I don't know. But amazing game. I used to consider it within like my top 10 games. Uh, you know, when I do like a top 50 games or something, I might actually put this in here because this game is so epic. You have the subspace emissary. Anyway, we're not talking about Smash Brothers Brawl here. This is the reason I know what Animal Crossing is, is because of those songs 
that I just showed you, or that we were listening to. This is actually a pretty good song too, but we're not listening to this one. Um, let me go to um, the last song. This is just it, and then I'll get into the new Horizon soundtrack. This is the last one. Um, and then, you know, I try to play Animal Crossing a bunch of different times, like the original one. Um, yeah, this is the player's choice one, but whatever. It was like eight bucks. Um, later on, I actually ended up picking up the memory card here, which is a little bit harder to find, uh, for about five bucks, um, at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, uh, the last one I went to where I got, like, Little Samson and everything. Um, so yeah, I have the game, um, the whole reason I wanted to pick this one up is because in this game, you can actually collect NES games, and I'd heard all about this and stuff, um, and you can use e-reader cards, which I have an e-reader, and I had that since back in the day and that kind of thing to collect NES games, you know, obviously I'm a Jay-Z NES, I got the whole set, uh, big fan of the NES, uh, it always seemed like a really cool ambition, and I actually, now that I've played New Horizons, it might be fun to go back to this and actually go and collect the NES games and whatnot, because that's just one of these goals I've had, you know, that's why I bought the game was for that, um, because it has e-reader support and because it, it has um, Game Boy Player support, which we actually used a little bit of um, a little bit ago, and... The other time when we were uh, out of town, I actually picked up these Animal Crossing cards here. But fortunately, they're unfortunately that is they're not the amiibo cards, but you know I've got a bunch of cool ones. Like I got, um, let's see, let's see, do, 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 do. looking for yep. I actually had Twiggy in my town for a minute. She was the first uh, villager to leave. Which has been uh, a little odd, but you know that kind of sucks. But oh, hey, Coco! Everyone loves Coco for some reason. Um, you know, I just have all these like e-reader cards and whatnot. Oh, there's more uh, villagers Get back. I didn't even notice this. But yeah, so like, oh my god, I had I found this guy in the in New Horizons as well. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, and these are songs apparently. That's cool. Um, but. Yeah, so I picked these up more recently, too. Uh, I, I picked them up with an e-reader, a second e-reader, for like 10 bucks. Oh, nice. Metal Gear. It's meant to be. Listen to that. Dun, dun, da, da, da. All right, let's get the New Horizons going in here. But yeah, I picked those up for like 10 bucks, and I thought that was a great deal. And then it ended up being Animal Crossing cards, and I'm like, ah, oh, Animal Crossing cards? What the fuck? Like, I don't need these. Um... And I haven't used them yet, but lo and behold, of course, the Amiibo cards are the rare ones, which I have one coming, but, like, goddamn, they're all, like, 20 fucking dollars. Like, for any singular Amiibo card, is like, 20 fucking dollars. But I need a cat villager in my town. I just need one. That's, like, the last villager. If I had a cat villager in my town and all the other characters I already have, I will be super satisfied uh, with my setup in Animal Crossing there, and then I'll just have all the perfect villagers. Like, I got really fucking lucky with my villagers, and I'm gonna show that off here in a little bit, but, um, yeah, so let's get this New Horizon soundtrack going here, and then... Alright, so, yeah, so, you know, that's my, kind of my history with Animal Crossing, is that I tried to play the GameCube one, never really got into it that much, um, I didn't really understand kind of what it was all about. I knew what it was kind of all about. It's like this life simulator thing. And I'm just like, I, this isn't my kind of game, you know. It was going to take a really big kind of um, shift to that to kind of get me into the game. And uh, I'm happy to say that they finally fucking done that with Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons here. Or as uh, Jason Heine likes to call it, Animal Droppings. So that's fun. But, uh, <laughs> you know, good, good little all-gen gamers. Uh, reference there but anyway so yeah animal crossing let's talk about it new horizons uh and when i say i beat the game it's like i got to the kk slider part where you get to see the credits that was pretty cool i liked that but like you know you don't technically beat this game it's a game that's meant to just kind of go on forever sort of thing which i hate games like that uh theoretically i hate games like that because then I'm just going to sink in a ton of hours. <laughs> As you can see, sink in a ton of hours for no fucking reason. I, for me, there is a reason, you know. It's um, it's been quite the experience. Here, let me turn that up a little bit. But it's been quite the experience of just like, uh, just a total shift in mindset on these kind of games here. 
Animal Crossing games, anyway. I, I, uh, <laughs> you know, as Johnny Millennium likes to say, I had kind of a religious experience with it. You know, I, uh, I finally understand what people like about Animal Crossing. It's the, uh, it's hard to put into words, too, because, like, that's what I gotta try to do in this review, is, like, say words about the game, but it's, it's, it's difficult to do. It's just the chill and the zen nature of the game is you go through the day, and you talk to your villagers and stuff, and they've, they're always so nice and supporting. Even the grumpy ones! I, I looked up online, like, I got this koala guy who randomly moved into my town, uh, Gonzo or whatever, and, like, it, it said online, like, oh, he's gonna, like, spread rumors and gonna be, like, super mean to your villagers and stuff. And I'm like, fuck, I don't want this guy in my town. Let's kick him out. Then I met, met him, and he's, like, the nicest old man ever. And I'm like... Okay, well, Gonzo's really cool. I'm just gonna keep him because he's fucking awesome, you know. So, but the, the it means the uh, he's cranky type is what he is. Um, and the the online made it sound like he was gonna be a dick to everyone, but he wasn't. He's a super nice guy. And it's like what the fuck. Um, the only villager I want to change now is I have a second horse coming in. It's um the blue one with the spar sparkly shiny eyes or whatever, um star eyes or whatever you wanna call them. Um. Which, like, I, apparently she just moved in today. Um, I'm going to have to go see her and, like, talk to her for a second. Or maybe I shouldn't talk to her because I do have an Animal Crossing amiibo card coming in the mail um, to get my cat villager finally. Uh, I'll let you guys speculate on which one that is. But um, I didn't spend the $70 to get fucking Lolly the cat, which is the best cat. And not, like, you know, L-O-L-L-Y. Not like a Lolly, like a little girl or whatever the fuck. But, uh... Yeah, so, uh, that would have been the ideal cat villager. I think out of all of them, that's kind of my favorite cat villager. That's everyone's favorite cat villager, right? Um, I was looking into, um, fucking, um, Starts with a P. God, he was like, he's like a lazy villager, but he's like a lazy cat villager. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. He, he's cool. He's just as expensive as Lolly. He's like 50 bucks or whatever. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on here? These goddamn Animal Crossing cards. Of course, uh, Raymond, the cool cat that everyone likes now, it's fucking, there's no card for him because he's brand new or whatever, but wouldn't have mind got, getting him, but I went with an old standby. Um, I've been watching a lot of Peanut Butter Gamer lately. Peanut Butter Gamer, you know, uh, lately, so, uh, and he, his, he's got a big meme in his uh, Animal Crossing stuff about the Mitzi who moved out of his town and whatnot. I don't know if that was his review or like one of the streams he did of his old town or whatever. But I've uh, been watching that. been watching him play New Horizons lately as well. So that's been fun. But um, but yeah, so so it, it's more for that, that value. And because the card wasn't super, super, super goddamn expensive uh, like the other ones. I mean, it, it, you're basically... These cards are more expensive than goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh cards, for fuck's sake. Like, you'd spend $70 on like a really good Yu-Gi-Oh card and you could at least get some use out of that. Of course, you're going to get use out of the Amiibo card. You're going to put that villager in your town. But... Oh, ridiculous. They, they spent $70 just to get this character in their game, you know? Like, damn. Talk about DLC, for fuck's sake. I get that the cards are rare or whatever, but Jesus Christ, you know? Like, it's insane. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, people are going crazy because they're all locked inside and they want to fucking play Animal Crossing. They want to have their favorite villagers from back in the day or something. Or just commodity or I don't know. But anyway... So, the whole point of the game, what is the point of Animal Crossing, right? That's what everyone always asks. The point is, there is no point. The point is to, to hang out and talk to your villagers and just have a good time, you know? And, and cut down your trees, get new resources, dig up holes for your fossils, uh, catch bugs, fish for stuff. So you can put that stuff in the museum, give Blathers a good old time and have him talk to you for, you know, 17 minutes about, uh, I don't know, some dinosaur you never fucking heard of. Um, you know, which is cool. I like him and his little speeches and whatever. And he's so enthusiastic. He, and then he gets all, like, creeped out whenever you give him a bug or whatever. He's like, oh, he's, like, got all skin crawly or whatever because he's an, uh, an owl and he hates bugs for some reason. But, um, anytime you get him a dinosaur or, you know, you get him a fish or something, he's like, ooh, let me tell you, let me tell you. Uh, let me give you all the information about this thing. And, oh, it's a fascinating stuff. No, you know, and I always just love, uh, you know, hearing about whatever he's gonna tell me about that. So that's 
That's always fun. But yeah, you know, that's one of the big goals. Goals, if you want goals, you know, in the game, you can go to the museum and that kind of thing. Getting your favorite villagers, you know, is always an arduous process. I've been really lucky. I mean, haven't had any favorite villagers because I've never played a previous game. And you all are going to hate me when I tell you who one of my OG villagers is that I've kept around this whole time, if you're an Animal Crossing fan, that is, because uh, she's one of the most hated villagers, apparently, of all time. But I have no problems with her. I think she's, like, the most kind, like, she's given me so much stuff. Uh, like, yeah, so we'll get into that, but, um, so, you know, that's one of the goals, fill out the museum, which I've been doing, I got really lucky, I caught an oarfish, I caught two oarfish yesterday and a fucking blue marin, which is, like, insane, all within, like, like, ten minutes, like, the oarfish was literally oarfish, two other fish, and then oarfish again, like, it was insane, like, within four bait, I got two oarfish, it's, it's just like, boom, it's crazy, you know, you sell these for a bunch of ton of money or whatever, I don't know if I've sold them yet. I kind of wanted to hang on to one or two of them or something, but anyway, so yeah, I mean like, you know, um, so that's one of the goals, filling out the museum, hanging out with your villagers, expanding your town, expanding your house, you know, uh, kind of stuff like that. Um, crafting things. That's a new, a uh, new element. I don't know. I haven't played any of the other ones except for this one. They didn't have crafting in that, as far as I know. Maybe there was crafting in that. I never made it very far into the game. Is was there crafting in that one? I don't know. Apparently, it's newer, or there's a newer crafting system or something. It's more, like, streamlined or something now. I don't know. Um, but it's good. It's well done. You get your materials. You build your thing. You build stuff anywhere if you have your DIY bench and you just take it with you. That's what they're called in the game, DIY projects, do-it-yourself projects, and you get recipes and stuff. Um, there's little balloons that, like, fly, and they might have, like, furniture or um, clothing, or they might have, you know, uh, money, which is bells in this game, or whatever. Or they might have materials, or they might have a DIY recipe um, in them. Or, there's just all bottles that, like, uh, come up to the beach, and you go up and pick them up, and there's a DIY in there from uh various villagers that are elsewhere in the world kind of, kind of thing i got the hiccups now um so yeah there's that uh. all right and you know so um that's the thing you can do is go hit those down with your slingshot um i just kind of rearranging your island is, is kind of a big thing in the game like um I used to have trees just kind of scattered everywhere, and now um, I kind of have my my uh, ducks in a row, if you want to say it like that. Um, but you know, just hanging out with your villagers and stuff, and uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, we can just kind of show some of this off. Actually, uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to do on the on the screen here. What if I? Okay, how did I do this last time? All right, that'll uh, fuck. Shit, this is this is gonna be hard. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, God, this isn't going to work, is it? Alright, so this is me. This is my character. This is my Animal Crossing. Oh, fuck. See, my Joy-Cons are all fucked up, too. That's the other problem about this. Alright, hold on. Let me get this down here. This is me. This is my Animal Crossing character. Uh, that's not my house. That's Tank's house, I think. Whose house is this? Yeah, this is Tank's house. Tank was one of my original villagers. He's a rhino. Um, here's my house. You can see my blue marlin there, my second blue marlin I caught. Um, got a little little garden and whatnot here, uh, you know, for some fruit or not fruits, um, flowers and whatnot. So, oh god, what the fuck? I hate these people are fucking calling me all the time. It's bullshit. All right, uh, you got a little fountain there and stuff. You know, somebody gave me that. Uh, I think uh, I think Egbert gave me that actually, which is cool. Um, I got a little. Oh, I can't go there because of the water can, but I got a little place I can sit there and just kind of hang out. Um, let's go inside my house quick. It's not, like, the cleanest place. I did clean it up a little bit, but you get a nice reflection there of my little camera. Hello. Um, yeah, I got my, uh, got my snapping turtle there. That's pretty cool. You like this angle? It's, like, close up on my face and whatever. Uh, yep, and my two seahorses. They reminded me of the seahorses from Majora's Mask, so I kind of put them together. Um, 
have like my record box and of course i oh oh yeah okay so when i came onto the island i was like freaking out because i got oranges as my native fruit how fucking perfect is that right oranges are like my favorite fruit my favorite color and stuff and i got oranges as my native fruit it's so fucking cool i was so jazzed about that i've been really lucky on this playthrough um, and of course it has to be the luckiest playthrough because it's beginner's luck, right? It's my first playthrough of an Animal Crossing game. Um, yeah, you know, so I got like my bed and I got my little sofa and stuff there. A little gothic mirror. I think that's pretty cool. Um, my espresso machine. You know, I don't even drink coffee, but hey, whatever. My, I named my, uh, character Emily because that's, uh, that's a name I like. Other than Isabel, but Isabel's already a character in the game, so like, and that's my Pokemon character, so... Um, I got my other little room here. This is like my, uh, my crafting room and like my fun room. I got this little, uh, elephant slide here. I was thinking about giving it to my elephant villager, but I think, I thought she'd think that's like too stereotypical. Like, oh, an elephant who has an elephant slide. Like, what the fuck? Like, she's gonna be like, oh, of course you give me the elephant slide. What is, was this a race thing or something? You know, like, so yeah, nice little room there. I have the little window shade wallpaper there. I think that's like a really cool one. I just got that uh, whiteboard. Um, Gonzo gave that to me, actually. Gonzo, my, my koala villager. We'll go visit the villagers and stuff, too. Uh, Animal Crossing Let's Play right here from the stupidest angle. That'd actually be pretty fun to do, because it's just like... There's so much shit to do in this game and show off, but... It's going to be so hard to do from this angle, but... I have, like, a clothes room here. I've got, like, tons of fucking outfits and shit. Um, here, let's show off my storage quick. A bunch of bunch of crazy stuff mostly outfits you know kind of thing so but yeah i've got some pretty cool ones um bunch of fruits you know i have all the fruits now that's pretty cool i just got apples yesterday um bunch of resources in case i need them damn i got 10 of those now fuck that's awesome all right yeah in the course of bunny day stuff because you got a fucking shit ton of that you know <laughs> so if you're an animal crossing fan you might know about bunny day which is notoriously bad, but just because you get eggs in every like present and stuff. This is my newest room. Uh, it's just like a writing room right now, which you can't like really do that in the game. But I don't know. I just thought I'd set it up that way. That's kind of cool. Get my money bag rug in there. But anyway, so you know, there's cool stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go try to find some people in here while I talk about the game. Um. Lots of stuff to do. You can set up your house like that. Obviously, you want to find, like, rare drops and stuff and build rare stuff. And you got to have the recipes for it, but you can always build rare stuff. Um, I like this little... Hold on. Oh, my, my horn just grew back today. Uh, I like this little patch of flowers here. Um, I actually got these orange ones right here from my uh, from my friend Nick. Uh, my friend from back in the day, Nick. Not my new friend Nick, but Nick Holdor from back in the day. So, uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> Oh, here's Tank. It's my my villager Tank, one of my OGs. Uh, oh, he's calling me Mountain now because yesterday he's like, "Hey, can I call you Mountain?" And I'm like, "Okay." Uh, he just says Kerpow after everything. He say like, "You want to chat?" And he's like, he talks about muscles and whatnot because he's a jock character, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, my oranges grew back. I got okay. I got a nice little area here for um, you know, just kind of beach relaxation kind of thing. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's, that's Tank's house there. And then over here, oh, who the fuck is this? Oh, this is the, the tricky guy that everyone was talking about. I haven't seen this guy yet, but he apparently is from the old games. He works in sales. Nice. What a great name. Intelligent, strong. I can tell we're already going to be pals. No, not pals. Family. Look at that. He's a con man. I haven't seen this guy before. All right, let's let's read this here. So I got keen instinct for things. Yeah, this is right in the middle of my review. See, you just run into random shit like this, you know. Um, but anyway, yeah. So there's like a lot to do in this game. God damn it! He wants five hundred thousand bells. Jesus Christ! I don't have any bells right now, man. Can I talk to you later? Jesus Christ! Oh God! <laughs> So, yeah, so Animal Crossing. <laughs> Dude, see, you keep getting distracted, especially when the game is right in front of you. But, uh, you know, you can plant flowers and stuff. You can water flowers and do that, all that kind of stuff. Here, I wanted to show off this quick. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I put a little fountain here, and I got my, 
like helix fossil here, you know, kind of thing. So it's pretty cool. Um, I put it there as a nice little thing. <gasps> oh my god, there she is. This is one of my favorite villagers. One of my favorite villagers, guys. And I found her. I found her on an island on a whim. This is insane. One ticket and I found her. It was amazing. Got good old Tia there, my elephant uh, teacup. Uh, she calls everyone teacup. Uh, my elephant villager, who's awesome and amazing. I love her. She's my second favorite villager. You, we'll see my favorite here in a second. But he's hoping it'll be a good day, teacup. I'm glad weather like this is perfect for air drying my laundry. See, they just say stuff like that. I don't know. It's all about living, man. Uh, I got this cool little teacup ride here. I put that there because of her. Um, really? And then oh, I got a weed here. Uh, oh, yep. Everyone's favorite. You guys might know whose house that is. It's Rocket. Let's go. Let's go visit Rocket. Is she at home right now? Nope, she's out. We'll go find Rocket later, but. Uh, yeah, I got Rocket as one of my two uh, starting villagers, and I love her. I think she's great. She's, she's so sisterly and lovely, and she, she just gives me stuff all the time, and she's nice. Oh, yeah, they said somebody's at my campsite. Let's go see who that is. Watch it be the one villager who I actually bought the card for. I'm going to fucking die if it is that villager. I'm just going to, like, lose my mind. Oh, it's like a... Oh, he's like an orange rhino guy. Look at this. He's pretty cool. Do you have a campsite? People can come randomly visit. His name's Spike. You live on this island, right? I'm just making myself at home. I'm camping mode, soaking up the... Is a hangout punk. Okay. Well, he's pretty cool. Uh, if I didn't already have Tank and have an uh, attachment to Tank, I would definitely take Spike. But, uh... So, yeah, random stuff like that happens where once you build your campsite, uh, people will randomly come in there and then kind of, um... Just, like, do that. Here, here's another one of my villages. Okay. Well, before we talk to Leopold, there we got, um... Good old able sister thing. I built that up. Let's talk to Leopold here. He's my lion villager. I didn't really like care for him much at first. Like he just kind of moved in, and I'm like, oh well, fuck. What, what do I need him for? But then he's actually really nice. Tells everyone lion cub. Um, he's a nice guy. I like him. But yeah, Leopold there. Oh, I guess I had a. Okay, here's a good time to talk about uh, Nook Miles. So you can do these things, like uh, right now, uh, these are all like, you know, standard things you'd be doing in the game, like big, big time, like long term achievements. These are like little achievements that you can get these Nook Miles for, which is like a second form of currency, kind of like an experience thing. Um, and one of them for today was to talk to three villagers. So I did that. I'm going to get my Nook Miles, get 200 of them. I've got a lot of them right now. Um, use those to get tickets to go to random islands and stuff, which can be like a tarantula island, or it can be like just an island where there's resources, um, extra resources, you know, once you farm out your resources for the day. Um, and you can maybe find villagers there like I did with Tia and all my other villagers, except for Tank and Rocket and the ones that kind of moved in. But, um, yeah, so I've got... This is like, you know... This is my island, and uh, this is my museum. We could maybe take a look at that later or something. I got a lot of stuff in there. It's a pretty decent museum. My Nook's Cranny, which hasn't been updated yet. Uh-oh. What's Tia doing? Guess what? I've got something for you here, Emily. Oh my god, Tia's going to give me a thing. What's she going to give me? I thought maybe you could use a comedian's outfit. Wow, nice. Thanks, Tia. Oh, you got these little, uh, hold on. It's gonna be super hard to do. I fucking hate this shit. I wish there was an easier way to do this. Um, I got this. Come on, stand still, Tia. I wanna. Okay, you can do little emotes and stuff, and they'll do it back to you. Like I did Joy there, and then usually when I see a villager, I'll like you know wave at them, and they'll wave at me, kind of thing. I can wave to this guy over here. Hello, <laughs> you know, like from South Park. <laughs> um, best episode. Maybe I don't know. It's a pretty good episode though, the Warcraft one. Um. Stuff like that, you know, um, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, like, okay, I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to be hard to do, but there's this little hole here right beneath me. You can get, like, fossils and stuff in there. Um, let's go find... Oh, fuck, I just ran over one of my flowers. Yeah, you can do that, too. If you run, in, you run over one of your flowers, it's no big deal. Tia, water it. She's really good at watering stuff. That's the other reason I love her. She's so great. She's so helpful. All right. Um... <gasps> oh, come on. Why do you got to be back here? So, here, well, god damn it. <laughs> Can I get a good angle on this? Alright, alright, hold on, hold on. So, my favorite villager is hanging there under the tree. She's shy, she doesn't want to be showing on my video apparently. Let's go talk to her. Let's, let's, uh, actually, can we, 
But if I talk to her, is it going to show her? Yeah, there we go. It's Sky, my favorite villager. And, yeah, she's wearing the thing that I gave her, um, which is the the striped dress here. I want to get her something better now. I just kind of gave her that on a whim one time. But uh, she calls everyone airmail, which is funny. But, like, it's, it doesn't make any sense. But, well, hello, airmail. Uh, I, I don't know. Sky's just really cute. I just love her. She's, like, my fourth villager or fifth villager or something. She's just... One of my favorites. She's always really nice. Tay's already fun airmail. And stuff like that. I don't know why I love Sky so much. She's just great. Look! Look at this! She's got orange juice! I can't even craft orange juice! Why, Nintendo? Why do you do this to me? What the fuck? She can sit here and enjoy orange juice, and I can't even craft it to make it when it's my goddamn native fruit, but I can make coconut juice. Oh, boy. You guys better put that in an upcoming patch. I tell you what. Shit. Um... Let's see, Gonzo's home. Yep, Gonzo's home. All right, we're gonna go talk to Gonzo here. This is a nice little log cabin house. He's old school. He's a old man kind of thing. He's like the nicest old man ever. Um, let's talk to him. Let's see. Oh God, see, see my fucking drift there. This is Gonzo. Nice of you to stop by, kiddo. I want to chat. Oh yeah, there's this is like uh, sloth guy named Leaf. Uh, so he's he's part of an event or whatever, much much better event than uh than a uh, egg day or whatever, cause fucking cause that event's really intrusive. So yeah, you know you can see you kind of just go around, talk to villagers and stuff, you know, hang out with people. Um, I could harvest all these trees and stuff right now. I'm gonna obviously do that later when I'm like not fucking playing the game weirdly. Here's a new villager I just got. Let's see if no nope, Cherry's not home yet. Um, okay, she came into the camp, and I, I put her in right after Twiggy left, so, um, god damn it, see, my, my Joy-Con's all fucked up, I think it's the, the one with this, this one over here, which is dumb, because every time I try to run, and then I run down, okay, let's go talk to the new villager, let's see what she's all about, so apparently she's all moved in, let's see her house now, she's a horse villager, I already have a horse villager, but, oh, okay, wow, it's like, Wow, this is really modern. Oh, look at her. She's all scared. I'm burning up and yet just also freezing. I haven't been this sick in ages. I don't have any... Oh, my God! Oh, we gotta get her some medicine. Holy shit. I didn't even know this was a thing. Like, your villagers can get sick or whatever? That's crazy. Um, I had my villagers get fleas so far, and I did capture some of those. Uh, funnily enough, it, uh, it seems to be Tia all the time. She gets the fleas, and then I have to catch them off of her. But, um... Yeah, so, sorry this isn't, like, really a review. I'm just kind of showing off my island and shit. Oh, here, here's, a, here's one of those bottles I was talking about where you give me a DIY recipe. Let's see what I get. Sometimes you can get repeat DIY recipes, too. Um, oh, my God. You found it! You're the one! <laughs> you found it! You found it! Something by Clyde. Let's see. I made it. Oh, it's a signpost. I don't know how to make that yet. Cool. Here comes Tia walking in the shot. But, uh, yeah. Signpost there. Um. That's cool. Yeah. Here's my, uh, here's one of my loaches. This is my second loach here. Or my, uh, is that what I call Not loach. Um, or fish. Sorry. What did I say loach for? They kind of look like loaches. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So, what was I doing? Um. Hmm. I don't remember. I don't remember what we're trying to find here. But anyway. So yeah, uh, you know, Animal Crossing. It's cool. Oh, there's these little little golden spots where if you dig this up, you can put bells in there and they'll grow a tree that has more bells. Which is awesome. Let's go talk to Egbert. Let's see if he's he's home. Is Egbert home? Yes he is. Alright, cool. So this is Egbert's house. He was like my third villager. Third villager? Fourth villager? I don't remember. He was within the initial five, um, because I had to build this house. It's him, Twiggy, and Sky. But I think I found Sky last, so. Here's Egbert. He's real cool. I love him. Wasn't expecting you. Okay. Huh? Who are you expecting? Oh, my friend, uh, yeah, came over the other day. Um, so, they, they talk about your friends that, like, came over and, and like, talked to him and stuff. That's pretty funny. Actually, uh, my friend's wife has Egbert and Rocket in her town too and I'm like oh this is pretty funny it's kind of funny how she also kept Rocket and and then Egbert of course he's great but uh everyone hates Rocket for some reason 
I don't understand it. This is uh, this is Sky's house up here. Give her a nice little blue and white uh, flowers there and whatnot. Love Sky, favorite villager. This is like my uh, orchard I was talking about up here now. Um, all these would usually be filled with fruits. Oh shit, my my peaches grew and that's awesome. I don't even have that many peach uh, trees, which is awesome. I, I think I uh, your in-game mom like sends you some peaches. Or your like your opposite native fruit on the first one of the first days or whatever. It's the only time I ever got peaches. This is uh, Winnie's house up here. Let's see if Winnie's home. Oh, looks like she is home. Or feels like it. I can feel the HD rumble telling me she's home. So look at that picture within a picture within a picture there. Okay, but anyway, oh she's she's the one crafting today. So sometimes your villagers will randomly be crafting stuff. Um, you can get a DIY recipe off of them. Let's talk to her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's a like the one of the or the, the diva kind of archetype, uh, kind of like Twiggy was. Ooh, a giant teddy bear. What the fuck? That's awesome. Never even. How would you even make that? Like, what, what materials do you need for that? <laughs> but yeah, you can see, um, she's pretty cool. She's like the second to last villager. I, I went and found her on an island. I, I had um, the deer one and I should have just kept him in because then the second horse moved in and now I feel bad because she's sick. Oh, I needed to get the horse medicine. That's what it was. God damn it. She's sick over here. I'm sitting here doing a review. I need to get her goddamn medicine. I forgot that was even a thing. All right, let's go to my house and get her medicine. But anyway, so yeah, I've got like a whole nother orchard like over here and stuff. Um, I built all these like little inclines here to, to get up to the higher areas because initially only I could go up there. Uh, this is Tia's house here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but yeah, you can see like these shadows of fish and whatever. That's like a like a medium fish there, which would be like just a whatever kind of fish, but that's pretty cool anyway. Um, so yeah, I called my town Koholint after uh, Link's Awakening, which is like one of my favorite games, obviously. Uh, I figured Desert Island, like, you know, just played Link's Awakening. Why not? Good, good thing. All right, so let's go to my... Oh, oh, and you can do this and then, like, rearrange stuff in your house, which I haven't done much, but it's pretty cool. I kind of forgot about that feature. Um, put up fences and whatnot. Let's see. Let's get her some medicine. We'll take the medicine over the horse lady here. Um, I don't even know her name yet. I think it's, like, Marie or something. Um, Winnie actually makes sense because it's like a horse, you know, Winnie. Cool, of course. A horse, of course. Um, actually, before we do that, let's, uh, I want to show you guys something cool. I, um, let me turn up the volume here. Just went in my town hall here. You see a little butter pup back there, Isabel. Is she sleeping? Oh my god. See, she, she works 24-7, just like Tom Nook. Tom Nook, like, never sleeps, but she'll, like, take little naps or whatever. Like that, you can see how like, oh my god, I feel so bad for her. God damn it, I have to wake her up too. Hold on, come on, sit down, sit down. And then she like wakes up or whatever. All right. Now you guys heard that, right? Did you hear that little jingle there? That happens every time you talk to a villager or whatever. And I made this jingle, and now maybe you didn't recognize it. But, uh, I will, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here, so, she wants to know how I can help, okay. So if we go to change the island tune here, we're gonna, um, we'll hear it, the frog version anyway. Alright, so, see if you can recognize this. That's not perfect because you don't have, obviously there's a very limited space here for your notes or whatever, that's kind of cool. But it's like, alright, so... And then she'll say, you know. Wait a second. Oh, come on. God damn it. All right. Well, I wanted her to do it too, but here, I'll, I'll get to that in a second here. Um. No oh god. Now she's doing the island evaluation. Let's see. Let's see what I what kind of what stars we have here. They'll like rate your island, and this is how you get Tom Nook or not Tom Nook. This is how you get KK Slider to come play or whatever. Um. Come on, just tell me what the island's rated. Oh, 
Oh god, they're saying I have an overabundance of trees. Like, what the fuck? Fuck this shit, you know? I need the trees, okay, guys? Come on. She didn't even tell me what it was rated. Fuck this. Alright. Alright, so... Obviously that... What I wanted to do was that, so we can hear her sing it. Now, I, I don't uh, expect you guys to, like, know necessarily what this is, but... Hold on a second. Let me, uh, let me interrupt this Animal Crossing music for a second here. Get your guesses in now. Type in the comments what you think it is. Um, but, uh, here we go. Let's, let's get the real track going. Now, I'll give you guys a clue. It's from one of my favorite games of all time. Uh... And as soon as I heard that you could do a town feature, I was trying to do the one from uh, Super Mario RPG, the forest theme. You know, uh, I still can't, haven't figured that one out quite yet. But um, I, initially, I did the Link's Awakening town theme. Uh, dun, 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 dun. And it worked out pretty good, but uh, I might switch back to that at some point. But maybe not, probably not, because this is actually kind of, it works out pretty well. But here, here's what it is. Do you recognize it yet? It's from Tomba. It's the Village of All Beginnings theme. I just missed the first part there, but I thought that was pretty cool that I could recreate that. It, it, there's there's little beats missing, and it's not perfect. But what it actually does, like the slow down, like every hour one, it's kind of like a like a what do you call them, like a grandfather clock or whatever, like. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. See, what I'm missing is dun, dun, da, 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 dun, da, dun, da, 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 that, that other note there. I'm missing that. Da, 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 da. Like, it's, it's just hard to put all of those notes in there, but I did it. I did a pretty good rendition of it, I think, you know. It's not perfect, I get, but, um. So, anyway, you can make a town tune. That's pretty cool. That's my, uh, that's mine there is, is the Tomba uh, Village of All Beginnings theme, which I thought was pretty dope. So I thought that was cool. Uh, damn, we're blazing through these sound track sounds here. Um, so yeah, that's cool. You know, um, so you can do stuff like that. You can, uh, with this little machine here, you can uh, do a bunch of stuff. You can like... Uh, Whole goal, like one of the goals of the game is to pay off your house. Like I was saying, you get, uh, oh, you get bonus miles every day for uh, kind of just checking in. Um, you can redeem miles for a bunch of stuff. Like right now, most of the stuff is just kind of um, the terraforming stuff, which you get post game, post game after you go through the KK slider thing. I mean, goddamn, might as well be post game. I fucking spent a hundred and some hours on this shit. Um, these are all items that you could put out, like a lighthouse and stuff. I do have a lighthouse. I don't know if I showed that off already, but you can get little. Like, different stuff like that, too. Um, but, so you can do that. You can redeem Nook Miles. You can, uh, you can shop for stuff, which I actually need to do today. So we have a hose reel, bicycle. I don't really need any of that. I think those were the initial glasses. Yeah, I, this is actually, like, on one of the first days, these are the glasses, and that's what I'm wearing now. The orange glasses. It was just, like, meant to be, pretty much. Uh, they always have a new KK song, so I'm definitely... Oh, I don't have enough bells right now. Uh, I'll come back and get that, but you always want to get that every day uh, because when you get a, like a record player, you can finally start playing those. Now, I'll show it off here in a second. But that's where the KK Condor comes back into play. I kind of got a nostalgia bomb off of that. Um, you can do this thing, which is kind of your bank. Right now, I've got like some bells in here. I saved this mostly for outfits that I'm going to have to go and get from um, the Able Sisters today. Um, and, uh, my loan balance here is 50, or 549,836 bells right now. This is, like, my third or fourth expansion to the house. Like, I think there's only, like, one or two more. Th these are the ones that get really expensive, so. But you can just pay that off whenever. He doesn't, like, expect, like, daily or, like, monthly payments or anything. You can just not pay it off if you want. But they, the, the reason to pay it off is you get more rooms, you get more storage space in your storage, which is really helpful, uh, especially with me, because I'm playing this game every fucking day. 
Um, oh shit, nice. I was gonna say that you got this little billboard here. Um, apparently when, I don't know if Josh wrote that or what, but um, when he came over thing, I wrote some ones like, you know, uh, this was like when Rocket's birthday was here. I didn't write that one, but um, little little thing there that posts all like the going on and whatnot. Um, put a little shell arch here. Somebody gave me that. Uh, one of my villagers gave me that. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Bet it was like tank or rocket or somebody. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Never mind. I thought that was actually a little speech bubble above right. I have like PTSD from when fucking Twiggy left. Uh, for these little speech bubbles or whatever the fuck. Uh, cause I feel like everyone's gonna leave now. Like every anytime I see one of those little bubbles above them. I mean, you can tell them not to leave. I just feel bad, like, you know, if they want to, like, go off and do their ambitious shit or whatever. I don't know where Cherry's at. We've been through this whole island. I don't fucking know where Cherry's at. She's probably, oh, she's probably in the Able Sister place. Oh, there's Sky again. Oh, she's just still sitting here. You hear poor Cleo isn't feeling well at all. God damn it! We gotta go give the horse the fucking medicine! <laughs> Shit, I keep forgetting this. Did we did we pick up okay, we did pick up the medicine. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. I didn't even know this could happen. I'm not I wasn't even aware of this. You know? I wasn't fucking aware of this shit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I keep forgetting to go give her the medicine. I feel so bad. And, and is this a new villager? This is the one I'm gonna kick out eventually. <laughs> God damn it. Now they they, they made her sick the first day to get my sympathy. Jesus Christ. Alright. You come to check up on me? Here, I have this little help. That's precisely what I need. Remember my saber, darling? Okay. God damn it. Nice. Ah, I should be back to myself in no time. In the meantime, I'll be sure to rest up. You know, darling, everyone should have a friend like you who's allowed me to give you this gift. I do hope you like it. Some gears. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> she gave me gears. You know what really grinds my gears? Alright. But, um, that's funny. I haven't even seen her yet. Like, I, I went in to talk to her on the first day when she was unpacking, but, like, you know, not really much happens then. So, yeah. Um, you know, that's the thing. Like, maybe the most authentic review of this game, I really didn't even play in this, honestly, but maybe the most authentic review of this game is just to kind of show you what the game is like. You get to run around and talk to people. And stuff happens, you know, and uh, it's just kind of that. You know, you grow your flowers and stuff over time, and it, it all happens in real time. Um, you can chop your trees and whatnot, you know, that kind of stuff. Hey there, welcome to the Able Sisters. Okay, okay. Oh, this is interesting. Oh my god, they have a gas mask today. Oh, fuck, yes, they got the... Is that a, wait, is that what I think it is? No, it's not. Damn it. I missed out on the kimonos one day because I didn't have any money, so I felt really bad about that. But look at this like skull thing. This reminds me of uh, Wind Waker, actually. It's pretty funny. But um, yeah, Cherry's not in here. This is so strange. I have a problem now with like losing my villagers. I don't know where the fuck they like went. Like as soon as I got ten of them, there's always like one or two that are missing now. Like I just can't find. And they're never at home. Oh yeah, here we go. We can catch Tia in the act. She's just like kind of studying. Uh, the flowers is so adorable but um yeah so i don't know that's my town uh it's pretty cool um i know it's not as fancy as some people's towns but you know what it, it's good damn good enough for me you know kind of thing um i love it it's uh it's really nice here uh love my villagers you know sky and and uh and uh and tia there it's pr pretty 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 cool villagers um, I built up these, these are apple trees that, uh, Josh gave me yesterday. So I built, built these up on this little back row here. That's probably, was the limit. That's, that's where Isabel's like, alright, this many trees, that's way too many. But, like, the funny part is I had most of these trees before, so I don't know what the fuck she's on about. Like, I built this little, like, forest over here kind of area. Um, which is pretty cool. And then I got my bamboo forest over here. Maybe cherries over here somewhere. Well, bamboo forest. Um. That I got from Bamboo Island. Actually, uh, Bamboo Island is where I found Tia, which is crazy. 
Like that, it was so lucky. So I got Bamboo Island and Teal was there at the same time. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. What is my luck on this game? There's like 400 villagers. And out of all of them, I found like one of my favorite designs. I like went and looked into all the villagers beforehand. And then like, that was like one of my favorite designs was Tia. And I'm like, all right, well, well her animal, car her card is like a bazillion dollars. It's probably like $20 or something, but I didn't want to spend that. So I figured like, oh, can I get her in the wild? And I fucking did get her in the wild. Like there's so many bad, not bad villagers, but there's so many like, like you don't really want these villagers in your town kind of villagers. And, uh, but yeah, that's the beauty of Animal Crossing. There's so many possibilities and so many, uh, roots and look at me stretching and whatnot. I'm feeling the, the chill, the Zen, just fucking playing it and talking about it. You know, man, like shit. I, I like, I don't even know, I don't even fucking know, like, what to say about this game. It's just awesome. Oh, here, let's go listen to KK Kondo real quick in the game, just so I can get that out of the way. But, um, you know, you just, you go on all these random little adventures, like, like that, like, going to get the medicine and stuff, like, I, you know, and they get sidetracked. It's like, oh, hey, hey, there's Tia, let's talk to Tia. Oh, oh, we're supposed to be getting a horse some medicine or something. Fuck, shit. Yeah, <laughs> so... It's all just about hanging out. And the beauty of the game is, I was telling this to a guy online, the beauty of the game is, you can play this game as much or as little as you want. If you don't want to go and harvest all your trees every day, you don't fucking have to do that, even. You don't have to pay off your loan at any specific time, so fuck it, don't, don't go harvest your trees. I don't know, fuck. You play the game how you want to play the game, man. As long as, you, my one advice is, as long as you talk to your villagers, because if you don't talk to your villagers, they're probably going to leave, which is, uh, unfortunate but that's just how it goes so if you just log on for like 10 20 minutes every day and go talk to all your villagers and you're just like oh, okay i'm done with the game now that's fine you can do that the game is meant to be a sort of portable experience like that uh another cool feature like i was just talking about before is you can have your friends come to your island and you can go to their islands which is really cool i went to um uh nick's island i went to uh josh's his wife's island um which was pretty cool. Like I said, she had Rocket and Egbert, and I went to her museum and like checked out. She had like a full uh, pterodactyl and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, I guess we could check out the museum quick. Um, but yeah, so you know, there's a lot of cool like things to do in the game. It's just really chill and really zen. Oh, okay. Tank wants to give me something. Let's go. Let's let's see what he wants wants for me. Okay, I've got something for you. It's a monocle. Oh my god, that's pretty cool. Monocle. No point in having it to pay it forward. Aw, thanks, Tank Buddy. Usually I'd give him a, a joy and a, and a wave emote, but uh, it's fucking ridiculous what we're doing right now. Showing the screen and whatnot is it's just impossible. I, I need like I need to get a setup where it, that would require editing and like a software and stuff. Though, like you know, I'm, just, I'm not into that anymore. But like a setup where I have like the game down in like this corner here or something. Um, but that's not that's not how it works anymore. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe I can figure something out like that in the future, but I had I had uh I had some videos where the angle was just like down like I I, I pointed the camera down onto the the switch, which is pretty funny. Oh yeah, and Blathers is always like sleeping during the day because he's an owl. So this is my museum. Um Let's go God damn it. Let's go We'll go this way quick. We'll go to, uh well fuck. Oh, well, I already went to bugs. Okay. So, yeah, you get this museum. This is kind of basically to show off all the stuff that you found and whatever. Um, it's just pretty cool. Pretty chill place. Uh, yeah, it was one of the bugs I found. If you go up here, there's actually... Um, where's he at? He's not here right now. What the fuck? Sometimes the koi fish will be there. Which is pretty cool. Reminds me of Avatar. I know koi fish are just fish, but... Um, in Avatar, they have koi fish over there. This is my bug room over here. You don't design the museum, but you definitely contribute to it. So, it's all my bugs that I caught. You know, like most of them. Some of them, anyway. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to get to the dinosaur room. None of the bugs are that interesting. But, um, yeah, you know, it's just pretty cool. You get, like, you get a bunch of stuff like that. Um... So, you get to fill out your museum, whatnot. Let's see. 
It's funny because that was a joke at the beginning of the video, me sitting here like... But like, now it's the whole video. <laughs> you get this like cool tree of life kind of looking thing. Kind of reminds me of Mega Man Battle Network 3. Um, if you play the game, you know that part that I'm talking about. It's funny that I finally now reviewed that. So then, so then I actually talked about stuff from that game or whatever. Not that I haven't in the past, but definitely need to get back to that. But guess what? I've been fucking playing Animal Crossing for 115 goddamn hours, so... I think now that I finally beat the game, I'm gonna kind of, like, set it down. Um, once I do my stuff today, I'm gonna set it down and finally fucking start Mario Galaxy 2. Problem is, during the day, I have, like, a job where I'm on call to go and do the job, so it's like, like, I'll just get interrupted if I start playing Mario Galaxy. But bar everything else, tonight, if none of my friends want to hang out and stuff, I'm going to play some fucking Mario Galaxy 2. I'll finally get to that. So, uh, yeah, here's my, here's my dinosaur room. Let's talk about that quick here. Um, I mean, there's not much to talk about. I just kind of want to show it off if, if the camera will let me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And this Stegosaurus tail looks like. Um, I think I got my T-Rex complete, didn't I? I'm not sure. Let's let's go look. Um, where's the T-Rex hat? He's over here. No, he's not. Where's he at? I, I swear to God, he was like in the middle or something. I think he's over in the next room or something. I don't know. Actually, but it's, it was really cool. I went to the other island, and she had, like, some of these ones that I don't have, um, complete already, so. Just kind of luck of the draw on the fossils there. Um, I thought this one was cool. It was a woolly mammoth or whatever, and then if you come over here, um, she had this one complete, too. But if you see this, like, giant deer thing, I'm like, holy shit, it's like Xerneas from fucking, um, Pokemon. It's probably based off of some, like, ancient creature or something. Like, it's pretty crazy. I thought this was cool up here, too. Um, they have, like, all the villager types at the top here. You can't really see it too well. There you go. Kind of right where I'm walking up here. That's pretty cool. Anyways, um, so, yeah, it's just a really chill game. It's, it's zen. Uh, oh, there's the T-Rex. How the fuck did I miss that? It's gigantic. I do have them complete. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Giant T-Rex there. <laughs> Some Jurassic Park shit. Um, yeah, it's really chill. It's really zen. I love the game. Um, it's super distracting, so we're gonna pause that for a second and see what I can still talk about. Let's see. So we talked. I mean, you've seen the gameplay. You know, that's kind of what you do. You, you, and then you can do little tasks and stuff in there to to get resources and whatnot. Basically, build up your village, that kind of stuff. You know, it. it uh, it's just a game that puts you in a good mood. You, you want to play it because it makes you feel good, you know? Busted makes me feel good. But anyway, um, it, it puts you in, in a good chill mode. And, you know, it's, it's not, there's no, like, uh, you know, crazy monster you got to kill or some action going. It's just kind of, hey, I'm going to cut down some trees and I'm going to get some resources if, if you don't have anything to do, if you ran out of all, all that stuff, you do the Nook Miles stuff. And you, know, you go catch fish and stuff. And trying to catch that rare fish. You know, kind of like that and stuff. Um, so there's always something to do in the game. It's pretty awesome. You can play as little as, or as much as you want. And it's just really well designed. It's uh, the perfect chill kind of game. And, uh, you know, in terms of a game like this. And, like, I know that this compares itself to other games. Oh, you know what? Let's talk about the music, too. Um, you've been here, and it's pretty chill, but there's some... I mean, we're not obviously through all the tracks or anything, but the the um, the general vibe of the music is really nice, and it's really... It contributes to the mood, um, obviously. It's very, very well done. Uh, it's not as crazy as, like, the old music, which is interesting it's, it's much more chill and much more zen and whatnot but um yeah in a sense i kind of you know not not that i missed the old music or whatever because i've never played it but like 
you know, that was like kind of what I thought of Animal Crossing back in the day was that old music. So I was like, oh, you know, it's, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, obviously like, okay, so the music, fucking awesome. The graphics are just like amazing because they're so adorable and they're so cute. And you know, you just gotta love the, the graphics and the atmosphere is really nice. And, uh, Wish I would have been able to review this while the cherry blossoms were up because those were really good and it's just like a lot of picturesque kind of moments in here. Um, a lot of cool characters. Like the characters are awesome. I mean, th th there's not much to there. Like it's not like character arcs and whatnot, but the characters are still fun to interact with. And if you find like a favorite villager or whatever, you kind of you make your own attachment to them, kind of thing. It's it, this is your own adventure. That's the beauty of it, you know, kind of, um, everyone's given Breath of the Wild 10 out of 10s because you get to make your own adventure out of it, but really, at the end of the day, there's a streamlined process to all of that. You know, you go to the shrines, and you do that kind of thing, and you do this, and you do that. Now, you can get there any way you want, sure, but, um, a game like Animal Crossing, I'm sure, there's only a few things, you know, if a few things to do, because there is actually a lot of stuff to do, but... Um, you really kind of make your own adventure, which is was fantastic. I think that's that's such a cool concept, you know. Uh, this is so uh, so great. And I'm not saying nobody's like giving this, you know, tens out of tens or whatever, because uh, a lot of people are loving it. I I really never heard anybody say like, oh, this is a bad game or whatever. So there you go. That's apparently it's like Nintendo's like third best selling game or some shit. I I don't know, <laughs> or like in the opening week or some. Something to that effect. I heard that on a video somewhere. Which is awesome. Um, and, and apparently, like, there's only going to be more shit coming in the future for this game. Like, old features like the Roost. And uh, I think the Art Gallery is already in there. I think that guy that we talked to was part of that whole thing. Um, so, I'm anxious to dive into that little side quest and start collecting art pieces and whatever. Uh, just one more fucking giant layer to the game, you know. Bye bye to another hundred fucking hours or whatever the shit. Um, you know, it's just been a really nice game to have in these times of isolation and indoorness. So, you know, and that's what everyone's been saying. So that's that's nice. And and it was the perfect game to come out at the perfect time. I thought, oh fuck, I'll give this thing a shot. And you know what? It ended up being really nice and really good. And. Uh, you saw my genuine excitement when talking to my villagers and whatnot. Like, I just, I, I love them. I'm attached to them as characters and whatnot. And, you know, that's me running my own little village there. It's, it's nice. And it's, it's just well, super well done. I would say, um, if you're at all interested in the game, it's worth getting. Um... I know $60 is a steep price point, but look at this. I've already put 100 and whatever hours into the game in, like, 20 days. Like, what other game can you get 100 fucking hours out of in, like, 20 days just by doing, like, daily tasks and stuff? Fucking Mario Galaxy 2? How much hours am I going to get out of that? 30, maybe? Tops? Like, 30, 40? I don't know. Maybe 50. I, I don't know. I don't know how in-depth that game is, actually. But, um... You know, RPGs, you only get, like, so many, hun like, 100 hours for an RPG is a long fucking time, but, like, damn, Animal Crossing, you can just play for forever, and I know that scares people, they're like, oh, I'm gonna play it for forever, but you don't have to, you don't have to play it for forever. Now, I, I would say that if you don't want to play it every day for at least, like, a half hour or something, then maybe it's not a good game to pick up and play, but it, it's good as a side game, it's good as a game where you're gonna play another game too, but you're gonna just get on your Animal Crossing every day and, and you know, do like a, l a little bit. You know, you're gonna water your flowers or cut some trees and just talk to your villagers, buy some new stuff, and then just, you know, sign out until like you and your friends all wanna get on or something. There's little events in the game, like every Saturday, once you get KK, apparently he comes back. Oh, KK slider, so, you know, that's nice. It's nice that I'll get on the game on Saturdays or something, and there you go. He, he'll be there. It's at nighttime, I, th I think. He's, he's there on Saturday nights or something. You get back, and you um, 
you hang out, just have a little concert with him. And then the thing is, also, um, there's holiday events and that kind of thing that you get in the game for. Um, you know, like, there's just so many little things that this game over the years will, um, kind of encompass these little points in your life and whatnot. Um, and it, I, I know I'm not a very good example of this because I, I have no impulse control sometimes, but, you know, especially with a game like this where I just go deep into it, but, um, like I said, now that I finally kind of finished it, um, finished it in a sense, um, I might, you know, streamline my process of my daily stuff and then just, like, not play as much because, because, uh, which isn't a bad thing. It'll still probably be like an hour or two every day to fucking do all the shit I want to do. But um, that's just me. Like I said, you don't have to play it that long every day. If that scares you, you say, oh, I don't have an hour or two to put in the game every day. You put in as much time as you want, all right? Just talk to your villagers so they don't leave. Uh, if you want your villagers to leave, don't talk to them. That's that's another thing you can do. Um, build fences around their, their house or whatever so they can't get out. That That's... I've seen people do that to get villagers to leave or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's another thing you could do. That's all about the process of um, getting the right villagers that you want and stuff, which I've kind of gotten to that point. We didn't see Rocket in the video, too. She's hiding somewhere. See, that was the thing. So, so, so comment below and let me know which villagers you didn't see. We didn't see Rocket. We didn't see Cherry. Um... I think we saw everyone else, though. That's the thing. It's like... But it's just weird. Like, Rocket and Cherry. Where were the fuck were they at? You know? I don't know. They weren't in the museum. We went in the museum! We didn't even see them in the museum! Like, they weren't in there. Can they be at Nook's Cranny? I don't know. Like, you know, I don't know where they're missing to. You know, kind of thing. But, um... I rambled on long enough about this game. You kind of get the idea. It's real chill. I would say get it. If you want to get it, um, uh, you know, let me know, and I'll, maybe, fuck, maybe we can, uh, I'll give you my friend code, we can hang out, and we can, like, you can give me fruits, and I'll give you fruits, and we'll, we'll hang out, and, I don't know, do stuff, you can give me some rare items, and I'll give you some rare items, I don't know if I have rare items, but we'll work something out, you know, kind of thing, it's just fun to hang out this game, kind of, so, uh, but, yeah, presentation, amazing, the music's pretty good, uh, Fucking characters, character design is awesome. The uh, museum thing is cool. Everything's cool about this game. There's really not many downfalls. Um, so, yeah. I would say, here's the thing. So for a game like this, because I haven't really played that many other games like this. And, and out of all of the games that I could play like this, you know... Uh, let's say like a Minecraft kind of game, which I don't think I would get that much enjoyment out of because what do you do in Minecraft? You build your own stuff. Well, I don't know if you saw my Animal Crossing time. <laughs> if you saw my Animal Crossing time for the hundred, like, you know, look at how, how long I've been showing it here. But uh, it wasn't that creatively put together. It's just like a standard kind of town setting, and I'm okay with that. You know, I might build some pads or whatever. Like, I don't need a fancy town like everyone else has. You know, I, I like my town the way it is, you know, kind of thing. Maybe I'll move some stuff around. That's for me to decide in the future. But I'm not going to, like, build my own shit and whatever. Minecraft, fuck that shit. You know, like, uh, you know, I am looking forward to Dragon Quest Builders, I guess. Yeah, but I, I don't even think that'll probably pull a candle to this. Um, of course, that is Dragon Quest characters. If they had this game with, like, Dragon Quest characters or something, like Dragon, Dragon, Cro Dragon Quest Crossing or something... Like, that'd be pretty cool. Also, yeah, everyone's, like, memeing the fuck out of, like, Doom and Animal Crossing crossing over because, like, you know, the fucking Isabel or whatever. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know how that all got started. It's some Twitter post or some shit, but, um, so that's pretty funny. But, yeah, I mean, I, I really love this game. I think it's great. If you couldn't tell, I really love this game by putting in 100 and fucking out 15 hours and 20 days, 21 days or whatever the fuck. Uh, 21 days, yeah, 21 days now. I mean, I haven't played it today, so it's technically just 20 days, but still. Um, I'm gonna play it, like, right after this, though, <laughs> of course. Just to do my daily stuff. I just want to go hit down my trees and get the resources out of that so I can sell them, make some money, put it back into my house, and then I'll just be done for today. I don't really need to do much else today. I'm just, you know, kind of talking to my villagers maybe a little bit and see what's up with them and... 
then shut it down and play some Mario Galaxy finally. Fuck. You know, like, the other thing was, I wanted to get a really good handle on the game. Because this is my first Animal Crossing game. I've never played one like it before. Uh, I played Animal Crossing, obviously, this one a little bit. Like, for like maybe a half hour. Not, maybe an hour or something. It wasn't that much long. I really am kind of interested to go back to this, though, and play like, the NES games and stuff. They, okay, so, like, bring back the NES games, obviously. I know they don't want to do that or whatever, but, like, make... What if we could just make, like, little mini-games or something that we could play? Like, Game & Watch games. I don't care. Just bring some Nintendo history kind of thing. Put it into the game. That would be amazing. I'd really like that, Nintendo. Please, can we get something like that? That would be such a cool collectible to put back into the game. That's like... Okay, if that's a complaint I can make, that's a one complaint. But that's not going to take any points off the game. Uh, this is insane. I know. I I am shocked as anybody else that this is happening right now. But I'm going to give Animal Crossing New Horizons a 10 out of 10. Uh, I know. That's such a meme probably right now with me and this channel. Uh, not that I have that many like people are going to meme on me about it. But, you know, like, oh, John gives everything a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10. But it's like... All I try to play are good games, okay? I'm sorry. I don't play fucking sorry. I'm sorry, Claire. I don't try to play fucking bad games or whatever that I'm gonna rate like a five. You know, when was the last time I gave a game of five, like Skyward Sword or something, like in 2000, goddamn 16 or whatever. Four years ago, I gave Skyward Sword a five. You know, um, kind of thing. They give the Last Guardian a five. I, I think I think that might have been the last five. I, I think the Last Guardian was also like just the last game I rated like the lowest, but the game had a lot of missed potential kind of thing. So, anyway, I'm giving Animal Crossing New Horizons a ten out of ten. Damn it! If you can put 115 hours into a game in 20 days and it's adorable and fucking cute and the music's amazing, then I think it deserves a ten. You know? I don't know if that logic follows, but it, it's got such a good gameplay loop that it just it's just so addicting you know I mean, and that sounds bad but it doesn't have to be addicting you can show restraint you know you can just not play it for five hours each day you know so i just don't get addicted as i am and if you are then that's great i mean as long as you're not like trying to complete a backlog of games that's fantastic. This is why I restrained myself from Animal Crossing. I knew this was going to happen. I can't even knew this was going to happen. Every time I get into, uh, I don't know, an MMO. Like, it was WoW back in the day, you know? And then it's like, okay, I'm done with that now, finally. I get into Yu-Gi-Oh! I spend, you know, so much money and hundreds of hours on that. You know, it's like... Now, to be fair, to be fair, this game right here has not made me spend any additional money outside of I did buy the Amiibo card for 20 bucks. I did do that. I did do that. But it, it was it was a villager that I wanted. That was my fault. I did buy the guide too. That's going to come as well. But um, the game didn't make me spend more money to play it. You know? It, beyond the $60, there wasn't uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh cards I had to buy or there wasn't fucking... Um, what? Um fucking you know shit and wow spend hundreds of hours to get a fucking piece of equipment that you're never gonna use or it's gonna look stupid or something like you know fucking i don't know such a wholesome game didn't make you fucking spend money on it because nintendo's smart the, the the idea is you put in hours and you get rewards for doing that you know it's life it's real life animal crossing is real life now so so that's cool um, but yeah, I love it. I think it's great. 10 out of 10, uh, game in its genre. 10 out of 10 game overall? Like, probably. I don't know. It's my first experience with it. That, that number can change in time. It's at least going to be a 9. I don't see it ever going, uh, below a high 8, you know. Unless it just, like, really pisses me off somehow. I, I don't know how it could possibly do that at this point, but... I, I love the game. Uh, I'm going to continue playing it for as long as it's relevant. You know, maybe longer. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see how long I stick with it. Uh, you know, I said the same shit about Ring Fit Adventure. But at least at least this game doesn't make me work out every day. And, you know, I'm already doing that kind of stuff anyway. Kind of with my job, you know. Lifting heavy shit and whatnot. So it's like, it's, that's kind of part of the reason I haven't 
really finished Ring Fit Adventure. And the Ring Fit Adventure is like a gajillion hours. I, you know, I put in 30 hours, but it's like, it's like seriously, like there's so much content in that goddamn game. I wanted to review that game. I thought I was at the end of the game. And it's not the end of the game. It's only like halfway through the game. Uh, it's like, it's like fucking 40 levels at least. I can't, I can't, I can't even fathom how many levels there probably are there's at least 40 worlds in that God, fucking game like I, it's, it's what the fuck what the fuck rank of an adventure how do you have so much content it's, it's, whatever it's not a review about rank of adventure but maybe you'll see that someday if i ever fucking get back to it i tried guys i tried to do rank of adventure i loved it i loved it for as long as i did it it was amazing it's just a lot it's a lot man it's a lot to do it's hard work but it's a good game, Ring Fit. But but Animal Crossing is a great game. I, I totally recommend getting it. Like, seriously. Like, I've been trying to tell my friends to get this fucking game. But they don't want to. Uh, I, I don't know about Mayab. I don't think he'd like it as much. But Nick, get the game, Nick. Get the fucking game, Nick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if John would find any enjoyment out of it. But he kind of likes games like this. He likes uh, fucking uh, Stardew Valley or whatever. That game. Um, I think he'd like this well enough. Um, what else? But you know, the nice thing is, it's friends I haven't talked to in ages, uh, you know, like I was just talking about in the video there, you know, I haven't talked to fucking my old friend Nick since, like, I mean, I talked to him, like, a few years ago. Actually, it was Portland Retro Gaming Expo was the last time he, like, contacted me or whatever, but fucking, I haven't talked to that guy in real life since, like, fifth grade or some shit. <laughs> like, maybe a little bit in between, but... Like, not much. Like, not much at all. But but it's just funny, you know. Actually, I have so many stories with that guy and, like, how he used to play Zelda and stuff. Actually, he's the one who showed me Zelda 1 for the first time. Uh, I remember that on the GameCube there, and I, I was so crazy fucking watching that shit. And that's, like, my favorite NES game, you know? Like, wow, you know, like, how far we've come in terms of that. But I got a lot of memories with him. He's actually... You remember in my Mega Man Battle Network 2? I know this is so unrelated to Animal Crossing at this point. This is tangent the episode because, uh, fucking... That's what Animal Crossing does to you. You just go on side quests. But, um... I remember in Mega Man Battle Network 2 or 1 or whenever I was talking about the friend who had Mega Man Battle Network 2. That was Nick. That was Nick who had that... <laughs> Not my new friend Nick, but my old friend Nick had Animal, uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Mega Man Battle Network 2. Um... Which was cool. It ended up being a great game, but... Anyway, this is Animal Crossing. This is New High Horizons. It's, it's good. It's a 10 out of 10. Go play it, please. Please. Thank you. Uh, give me rare items. I don't know. Don't give me rare items. I don't need them. But, yeah. It's been Jay-Z NES saying play Animal Crossing. Stick around for more reviews, unrated games, and I will see you guys in the next one.